Hello Summoners and welcome to another episode of Pro Guide's Best Champions to Main, now on patch 10.9. These champions are all about high performance with low ban rates that are unlikely to get nerfed in the immediate future. The most reliable picks in the game that are the most worthy of investing time in. Before we get started though, our question of the day is, which champion has your favorite voice line? Let us know in the comments below and without further delay, we'll get right into it. Swooping in at the top of 10.9's champions to main is Quinn. Quick side note, sorry top laners, I'm really sorry. Anyway, Quinn recently received a slight buff to her Q's blind, which makes her even more oppressive than she already was. Quinn has long been a long-standing eyesore for melee top laners because not only is she ranged, but even when they want to punish her, she can just use her E to vault off of them and create enough space to kite them back. The next logical step would be to catch her by surprise, but if she even suspects there's someone ambushing her, she can use her W to reveal all enemies in a large area surrounding her. After she's done cyberbullying her lane opponent, she can use her ult's move speed to traverse the map and bully the other lanes. Or she can even just use it to get back to her own lane after a recall. This ability to just casually zoom wherever she wants to go means she's free to take Ignite in top lane, which makes her even more obnoxious. Riot's balance team scarcely ever touches her, so now's a good time to get familiar. Kled's coasted at the top of the tier list for most of the season, and it's not changing now. Kled is a top lane brawler with a lot of natural tankiness. Kled is a champion who likes to get in a fight and keep on fighting, and Conqueror works wonders for him. After he lands his Q's bear trap, he can use his E to stay on them long enough for the Q's second proc to pull them in. Once he's there, his W lets him rain down damage. Kled's ult is a long-range flanking tool, and him having the ability to make a mad dash at other lanes lets him impact the map more than most top laners in a meta where top doesn't have a lot of agency. He's a great champ to have in your pool if you're tired of having to rely on your team being self-sufficient. Volibear is our third top laner for 10.9's best mains. Volibear is a juggernaut that's seen a lot of niche play over the years, but lately he's been finding consistent success in the top lane. His W's passive attack speed lets him perform well in any extended fight, and the active attached to it does a good bit of damage that can't be ignored either. His E's displacement makes him especially good against champions that need their dash to perform well, and his Q's move speed boost makes him easy to gank. His ult's chain lightning is the icing on the cake for that extra bit of damage, and his passive keeps him alive long enough to really put out some hurt. Here are those top lane builds for you guys again. Feel free to take a look at those. Nunu is our first pick in the jungle, in no small part due to the nerfs to Trundle's ult's cooldown. Nunu is already performing well as a prominent objective control jungler, but with his biggest counter being knocked down a peg, he's even better than before. His Q keeps him healthy in the jungle and lets him outsmite almost every other jungler. His W snowball speed lets him maintain map pressure and keep the ganks coming, and his E roots his enemies in place while he charges up his ult damage. He's a great pick for any junglers who prefer to take a more utility-focused approach to winning their games, and he keeps the objectives flowing. Ramus is our second jungle pick to main on 10.9. Just like Nunu, Ramus was already in a decent place, but what's bad for Trundle is good for virtually every tank in the game, and Ramus is reaping those rewards. With his W giving him free tank stats and a build in Thornmail, he's one of the tankiest tanks in the game, and since his passive gives him bonus damage for stacking armor, he's especially potent against AD heavy comps. The high move speed he gets from his Q makes for imposing ganks that often lead to pointless desperation flashes, and once he lands himself on a target, he can lock them down with his E's taunt, while his ult's tremors throw in some hefty DOT. Vi is coming in at number 3 in the jungle, and as per usual, she's here to throw hands. Hail of Blaze gives Vi a lot of early skirmish power, and if you use it along with her E's auto cancels, she can throw a lot of damage in a very little time. Her Q's dash punch is a great ganking tool, and her W's armor shred helps her take down bigger targets. Vi's ult will always have value as a point and click lockdown, and in the current meta, being able to bypass pesky frontliners and just go straight to a carry is a pretty nice option to have. And here are the jungle builds for you to check out again. Zillion is our first mid laner worth maining on 10.9, and he's an excellent pick for players who derive satisfaction from their enemy's frustration. Zillion only has one damaging ability, but it's really all he needs. His Q's bombs do a pretty hefty chunk of damage, and when he uses his W to refresh the cooldown, he can stack two bombs on the same target for an AoE stun. Zillion's E is one of the biggest move speed boosts in the game, but it also doubles as a move speed slow if he uses it on an enemy instead of an ally. Zillion's ult is his biggest ability, as it allows him to save a teammate from death and resurrect them with a good portion of their health back. This ability to save lives is incredible for keeping his hyper carries in the fight, especially since there are so many late game ADCs in the meta right now. 
Our second pick for the best mid laners to main is Lissandra. Lissandra is one of League's best control mages, and her value can't possibly be overstated. With the new buff to her Q, Lissandra's lane presence will be greatly improved, and you can expect to see her performing much better. Her Q is a solid trading tool in lane, but her real power lies in her ability to E onto unsuspecting enemies and then lock them down with her W's AoE root and her ult stun. Now that she can Q more frequently, she'll have an easier time clearing waves and roaming to side lanes, which means she'll be back in gear for her traditional roaming carry style in the meta. And in regards to roaming carries, Aurelian Soul will be our third pick on the list for 10.9's mid laners. Aurelian Soul is one of League's more unique champions, and he has the benefit of also being one of its strongest roamers. Aurelian Soul is designed to make big entrances, with a stun on his Q that increases in size the further he travels with it, and an E that gives him move speed and lets him bypass terrain while he flies through the air. His W expands the radius and rotation speed of his stars, so positioning is key on A-Soul to maintain his damage output. If anyone manages to get on top of him, Aurelian Soul can use his ult to repel them back to the edge of his stars and create space. He's a hard champion to master, but if you can get accustomed to keeping his distance right where it needs to be, he's a powerful champion to have in your arsenal. The mid lane build should be up on your screen now, give those one more peek. Our first bot laner on the list is Ziggs. While he's not a conventional bot laner, Ziggs has had success there many times before, and he's currently in a pretty good spot again. Ziggs might not do the same DPS as a traditional marksman, but the ranged poke his Q offers gives him a safe laning phase, and his W's satchel charge combined with his E's mines make approaching him almost impossible. His ult is a super long-ranged AoE explosion of damage, and he can use it to clear side waves to maintain pressure or to dominate teamfights. Either way, Ziggs is some of the best zone control in the game, so he's worth picking up. Kog'Ma is our second bot laner for patch 10.9. Kog'Ma is one of the hardest scaling champions in the game, and he can completely destroy team fights if he's allowed to auto attack freely. His Q shreds armor, his W gives him an increase in damage output as well as range, and his spits out a slowing field in front of him to help keep his distance. Kog'Maw's ultimate is basically a low cooldown artillery strike that deals bonus execute damage. Kog'Maw may be a late game carry, but his early game damage isn't nearly as bad as it should be. If your team doesn't have the dive necessary to forcibly obliterate a Kog'Maw in teamfights, they're basically doomed after he gets three items. Sivir is our third pick in the bot lane, and she strikes a great balance between utility and late game damage. Sivir is generally picked for the safe laning phase she offers through her spell shield and the wave clear she gets through her Q's boomerang blade and her W's ricocheting auto attacks. Her ult is the main reason she's thought of as a utility pick, since it gives a huge speed boost to her and her nearby allies. But in teamfights, Sivir's ricocheting auto attacks can crit, so when her enemies are grouped up together, Sivir can just pour out bouncing crit damage before the enemy even realizes what's happening. Sivir is a great champion to blind pick in the bot lane, so give her a whirl and see how you like her. The builds for bot lane should be up on your screen again, so go ahead and get those down. Our first support champion on the list is Sona. Sona is a nice, well-rounded support with a good laning phase and an even better team fight. She's not necessarily the greatest buffing enchanter in any one regard, but she does a little bit of everything, so she's a solid pick to have in your pool. She has an AoE heal slash shield on her W, some lane poke on her Q that comes with an AoE damage buff, and her E is an AoE move speed boost for her and her allies. Her passive empowers her auto attack after a few spells, with an effect that changes based on her last spell cast. So she has a choice between extra damage, reducing an enemy's damage, or slowing an enemy when the auto attack lands. Her ult is her signature ability, and it can single-handedly win a team fight if she can lock most of the enemy team into a dance-off with it. Tarek is our second support pick to main on 10.9, and he's enjoying a resurgence in the meta among the few people who can play him well. Tarek's W, Bastion, links him to an ally, giving them a portion of Tarek's armor, but more importantly, it lets Tarek cast spells from both himself and whoever he's linked to. This means a good Tarek can simultaneously frontline and peel for his carries on the backline with his Q's heal, his E's stun, and his ult's invincibility. Tarek's exceptional capacity to make carries hard to kill is why he's generally involved in funnel strats but in the right hands, he's a force to be reckoned with in any setting. Zyra is our final champion to main on patch 10.9, and where Tarek and Sona try to buff their allies, Zyra exists almost purely to kill her enemies. Zyra has an insane amount of innate damage in her kit, and she often ends up having the most damage on her team by the time a game is over. The harass she can pull off with her W seeds combined with her Q, Poke, and E, Root is no joke, and once she has plants spawned, they act as a zoning tool as well. Her ult is an AoE attack that knocks up after a delay, 
but it also increases the attack speed of any plants inside of it. So if Zyra is allowed to cultivate a few seeds in one spot and lure her enemies into it, she shreds them in no time. Zyra is a great champion to main if you want to take the game into your own hands from the support role, or even just if your team is low on damage. And finally, here are those support builds for you in case you missed anything. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed this video along with the rest of our patch 10.9 series. Once again, let us know in the comments which champion has your favorite voice line so we can hit you with the hot, fresh, heart react. We really do love hearing from you all. See you guys next time, good luck out there in the rift, and wash those hands.